Hello and welcome. In this video I want to show you what you can do with the Material BI dashboard plugin. Um, I will show you all the items that exist, um, the options about it, um, the security features and how you can use it on, on runtime or how your customers can use it on runtime. Um, at first we see here a simple example of the Material BI dashboard um, with different items. And you can see that it's not the normal responsive design that is that you know from Apex um, with positioning of the elements. And um, what's the difference? Um, the Material BI dashboard does not use um, the responsive design, it uses Mason redesign. The cool thing in Mason redesign is um, that when you use the responsive design, you have your rows and your columns, but when have the elements have uh, different heights, then you get in trouble. And Mason redesign um, fills this gap and fills this, or, or um, will check that these different heights of the items um, will get positioned really well. The cool thing is when you also make the browser smaller, then you have full featured um, responsive effect um, that these um, items will move here at the bottom as you know it from responsive design. So what items does we have in the Material BI dashboard? At first we have the maps. Um, you can use this um, 3D animated globe or you can use your zoomable maps. You have tooltips. You can change the color of the countries, of the ocean, of, of, of the circles, and so on. Also, the size of the circles is changeable, you, so you can um, show um, different priorities. Um, and they are positioned with longitude, latitude, as you know it from many others. The next thing are the batch cards. Um, the cool thing here is that the text size is changed with the card item itself. You can left the icon, you can use um, Phone Apex icons or Phone Awesome icons. Um, you can use here um, images and so on. You can left here the bottom text, top text, so on. The next thing are the charts. As you know from my other Apex plugin, um, the D3 dashboard plugins, uh, D3 dashboard charts, sorry. You have many different chart types, um, area charts, stack charts, group charts, pie charts, and so on. You have different zoom types here with scrolling or with a drag and drop zoom. And yes, so you have many, many charts that you can easily use. So you have lists. Also with an icon or with images, you can show HTML. And the cool thing is that you can show this list as grouped lists. So you can define groups and then your elements are shown in this um, list grouped. You have an analog clock. Um, it's based on the free. Um, it's just a nice optical gimmick, but you can use it re really good um, to show different time zones. And you can also good customize um, all colors and what you show in, in the in the clock. You can have your texts and so on. You have cards. Um, you know my material cards plugin, and that is let's call it version two of this. Um, it's just changed a little bit um, the optic, but um, functionality is nearly the same. Um, you have no charts here because um, the dashboard already uh, can render charts, so it's not important that you can do it here in the cards. Um, but you can show um, the, the KPI values, you can have small KPI values, you have a subtext, you can show here icons, text, or here um, I used um, background images. So you can really customize here these, these, these cards as you want it. So I missed the calendar, sorry. Um, you have the full calendar that also Apex uses. Um, you have different views, um, a grid view, a monthly grid view, a week grid view. Um, you have list views and so on. 
and you can render everything that you can also do um, with the Apex calendar. You have an HTML region. Um, the cool thing is that you can here add videos or iframes where you can show sub pages. Um, you can add multiple HTML regions to a dashboard item and then the dashboard automatically creates here such a slideshow. Um, so I made a, an image slideshow. This is just an easily diff with a background image and it's, it's, um, it has a size of 100% um, width and 100% height. And so you can easily make um, very nice um, image slideshows. You have tables. You can add um, normally tables. You can style um, each row and each columns. The dashboard um, supports drag and drop. So you can move each item here around. And when you move an, an, an item, the, um, the dashboard fires a dynamic action event. So you can then store um, the new order here of these items. Um, in this example, I just uh, show a success message um, where I can see here the new order of the, of the cards. Um, but you can just call um, a store to uh, Apex collection or to a table and so on. Um, the dashboard has a built-in security feature. Um, you have the normally escaping, like you know it from Interactive Grid or Interactive Rapport. But um, I would prefer the sanitizer because um, the text is not just escaped. You define a whitelist or you use um, my whitelist template. And then only specific HTML tags are allowed and all other HTML tags or attributes are removed. The cool thing is you can easily um, show HTML, but everything that is, that is, um, is um, insecure is removed very easily. So it does much better look than here this escape text and everything that is um, insecure is just removed. So what else does we have? We have a short node editor. That is a cool thing because um, you can easily add nodes directly here in the dashboard and just press the save button and it's stored here in a, in a, in a collection or in a table wherever you want it. Um, when pressing this button, you can call a PSQL block and then you can do what you want. You have Unleash RTE support. So when you use my Unleash Rich Text Editor plugin, where you can add images dynamically here in the Rich Text Editor, it is also supported by the dashboard. So the cool thing is when you want to render um, your, your, your Rich Text input anywhere else, you can here um, add it to the dashboard and have also a sanitizing feature. And you have different item options. You can um, have title icons. You can set a color for the title. You can set colors, um, a background color for the, for the items itself. You can uh, make a mark on the items. You can add subtexts here to, do, to the items. You can add option links here with a different icon and different color. When you click on it, um, it fires a link. And this also can be rendered here on the top. And when the text is longer, then it's skipped here. So, okay, we have many, many options. We have many, many items here in the dashboard. But what's the difference um, to, 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 to Apex regions? I will show you that. The difference is that you can change your dashboard on runtime. So you can change the regions on runtime. And that is one thing you can really do in Apex um, that you just remove here such a chart or that you just um, change the size of this um, chart on runtime. And the cool thing is that this can be stored permanently into the database. It's not only here in the session or in browser cache, it's 
really stored in database and you have the option to add all items that I showed you here into the dashboard. Um, I just made here a simple example and in the next video I will show you how this works. So it's just easy. You click here on map. I made here a small dialog. You can add really much more options here. Um, it's just for a simple example. And then we have here the region that is rendered. And the cool thing is that we can now activate drag and drop and say, okay, I want this region here and this region I want to add here. And the cool thing is it's just a runtime. I don't need to go into the development mode. So every end customer of you can create now really customizable dashboards. And that is one thing where I think that is pretty cool. And yes, I hope you have fun with this plugin. I saved a new order and then it's finished. So when I reload the page, I see my dashboard that I have configured. So have fun with the plugin. Bye.